Welcome back to the Amsterdam Radio Podcast for Creators. It is I, the mayor of Global Boys, and I'm actually having a cup of hot coffee because I love to have a little bit of a conversation with my guest. Friend of the show, Decentricity, has told me about a whole new kind of way of thinking about the metaverse that blew my mind. So, first things first, Decentricity, welcome back. Thank you, Flavo. Nice to be back. Nice to be back. We were talking about what relationships, all different kinds of relationships, means in the metaverse space. Now, for me, you know, someone who's new to this, I was like, well, I guess you have friends. But you're saying there's a, there's a whole other category of how people get together in the metaverse. Yeah, uh, this is this is sort of like uh, for a lot of people now, the metaverse is new, but the metaverse isn't new, and the metaverse is super old. Uh, the The term was like the term is old, uh, and mm -hmm. like. The Metaverses are old, older still. Um, they used to be called like the cyberspace places, um, and uh, some of them were even like you know text-based places. Where right now we would call them forums, but they yeah. called them all cyberspace, and uh, that's sort of like uh, how everything started. Um, but uh, I'm talking in particular about one metaverse that is called Second Life. And oh yeah, yeah, I remember that one. Second Life is 18 years old. It's super oh, old. My. The, just say I'm old. Forget the fact that he's just like, I remember when it launched. It was a big deal. It was a big deal when it launched. It was like, it was, you know. It was. It was. It was huge. Uh, IBM IBM had place uh, had a place in it. Uh, mm -hmm. Like an island or something. Uh, Microsoft. There was an episode of CSI New York where a killer was in Second Life. And so the, yes. the cops had to go <laughs> into it. Oh, that was so embarrassing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> embarrassing. I was like, this is so cool. <laughs> and they had to do it like in a big screen, like this huge projecting. Project. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind so of like, it's a yeah. So sort of Second Life was uh, like early metaverse, right? Like you, you know, the kids don't know. <laughs> it's they still don't. Around. They it's still around. It's the, uh, they have a nifty URL now. It's Second Life. Um, they're they're not uh, an NFT metaverse. They're not a crypto metaverse. Uh, I specialize in crypto and NFT, as you know. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's uh, but there's a lot of relationships in there that 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 uh, people who meet on Second Life get married on Second Life, who uh, dump their husbands for a pole dancer that she met in online game Second Life, which is actually a title of a Daily Mail article. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. So you're telling me that the people get together and 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 in this case left his stable IRL relationship. For mm -hmm. something that was virtual. Now mm -hmm. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta be. I gotta put my old man pants on. But what about mm -hmm. there's someone in the flesh, literally in the flesh, and and exactly. love is elsewhere. How do you reconcile that? I I can't, but like I do <laughs> understand it in a way because like sometimes you know like there's 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 a lot of um. So first of all, Second Life is something that's uh uh like you might think of it as something you know uh, uh lo-fi graphics. Uh, it's this doesn't doesn't look like today's games, yeah. uh, but you know when, when you're in it, you're actually immersed because you're having something called social immersion. Not mm -hmm. but when we talk about immersion in gaming, it's usually whether a game is realistic or not, right? But it's not really. It's not that when you're talking about metaverses. When you're in a metaverse, you're immersed if you're socially immersed. If you believe that this is your people, your community, you're talking yeah. with this person and and you're you're walking together with this person through a through an empty street or um in a car together uh, and driving around, which is something you can also do in Second Life. Um so uh here's the thing like when we and this is not a philosophy class, but so we're not gonna try to define love, right? So <laughs> do it. <laughs> we, we the the thing the thing about love is like it it it's uh, it's not something that you can. That, that's precisely it. It's not something you can define. Um, it's not something you can define the start of. Right. Like you can fall in love anywhere. You can fall in love with like uh, you know chats. You can fall in love with Zoom calls. You can fall in love definitely in Second Life. And uh, a lot of people actually did 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 that. And not just the not just this mom before. And this is an amazing article. Can I share my screen though? Like I, I just oh, want to. Oh yeah, you can totally. Uh, for those of you in the audio version, uh, this is she's going to share oh. her screen about an example of what love is in that metaverse place. Oh, love is. Uh, so <laughs> this is this is something I just uh, something I found, but I, I've actually heard of this when when you know it happened. So wow. uh, uh, yep. So 
Mama Four, uh, Forty One met Nick playing Second Life, met in a virtual club. Nick okay. went on a virtual date at an amusement park that lasted for hours. And within days, Saxon told her husband she wanted out of the marriage. They got married in the game. Like Nick and Kelly got married in the game and had a virtual really? wedding. No, no, no. The game, the game has uh, a lot of mechanisms for you to be married. Uh, oh. Yeah, the community has like customization uh, items. Like so, when you have an item in Second Life, it can confer you uh, skills, uh, capabilities, and including like even having a baby. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, this this actually happened. And uh, you know, a lot of people. This is the Daily Mail, so of course the Daily Mail takes a, uh, you know. Uh, the 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 Daily Mail is basically laughing at them, but like it's it's not really. It, there's there's something. Um, a lot of these things are super real in a way that's like you know your your. Um, okay, so so here's the thing. Like uh, there there wasn't COVID then. COVID COVID wasn't yet there. Oh yeah yeah. COVID was a big X factor. It seems. No, it's 2016, right? But still. Like if you're at home, <clears throat> you do a lot of computers and like, or you're in a small city or you don't get to go around to amusement parks and, and, and travel the world. On Second Life, you were able to. And that's something that I felt as well, uh, even though I never had like, you know, a, a serious Second Life relationship. But like, <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is like, I, I walk around and I feel like this is a world. This is, I'm, I'm traveling the world right now. And Sometimes it feels like uh, escapism, but also sometimes it feels more real than the real world. This is this might sound creepy, but uh, you know, real more real than the real world. But like, if your world is just your room, right? Especially now during COVID, you're stuck at home because of lockdowns. Some of the countries here are still under lockdown. I'm, I'm sure um, the U.S. is opening up, but like here is still there, um, and and it, it feels you're cooped up somewhere, right? They cooped up. Absolutely. Somewhere. And there's a window here, not just a window, a door for you to get out <laughs> and meet people. Well, I yeah, I think the COVID thing really puts puts it in perspective, right? Because I think during the the heyday of the American lockdown, uh, which, because it depends on what state you are here, because every state did their own thing. There were times where I felt like, man, I, I need connection. I, I'm, a, I'm a prisoner. I'm old boy. You see that movie? Uh, but but there is a, uh, maybe I'm just being a little bit blunt. You have you? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was, I, I, watched them, I watched them both for a film class, but I, I like the original. Um, but when it comes to like this kind of thing where people meet each other on chat lines or or telegrams or mm -hmm. second life, there is a little bit of a cynical person that says, hey, look, the reason why you're finding people on these things is because you're being more yourself in these virtual spaces where you have right. an extra layer of barrier of not showing the world who you are on the outside. Is that accurate or am I just off my rocker? It's, 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 it's amazing, accurate. And you, I like that you mentioned telegram. You mentioned the chat programs uh, because those are, by like a very wide definition, that's a metaverse as well. Zoom is a metaverse. This damn thing, StreamYard, is a metaverse hey. because it actually originated from uh, cyberspace. Uh, the uh, uh, William Gibson novel, I think it was Neuromancer, uh, was mm -hmm. uh, that was a novel that introduced cyberspace. It was a world it was also computers and chatting and uh, that's sort of like you know only is plugged in because it's neuromancer but yeah um the and that became a lot of the cyberspace networks that that appeared early on in the 90s and then um neil stevenson with snow crash uh created the term metaverse based on that as well so mm -hmm. neil stevenson didn't create the concept of the metaverse he created basically just the term metaverse uh and that's uh basically more of a representation of reality and that's why we remember metaverses as more like game-like things but the the thing is as you said like telegram chatting those socially immerse you like right. when we're talking about immersion especially in like games we're just talking about how realistic the thing is right right this is also true but is, is it socially realistic like I'm, I'm talking to you right now. I'm just pixels on your screen. You're just pixels on mine. Yeah. And but this is realistic, right? Of course, it's realistic. It's us face to face. But when we're talking on Telegram, like yeah, 
chat conversations, like and and, and like stickers. It's socially realistic and right. socially immersive. So uh, these tools are metaverses as well, in a wider definition of the term. It's you know cyber space. Uh, so uh, I'm I'm uh, I I kind of like going back. This is a tangent, but like going back to what what you were saying. Right. Uh, we're cooped up at home. We're we're meeting people. We're falling in love. There's COVID love. There's COVID breakups. Um, and meeting people like that is, I don't know, like uh, freeing us from the confines of our reality. And uh, sometimes we're in there to escape. Uh, sometimes we're just in there to make friends. But like even making friends is an escape these days. Uh, yeah. So, well, right, well, mic drop. You can't just mic. What? <laughs> so say it again. <laughs> Even making friends is an escape these days. Because that is so poignant and so true. I mean, there's so much things that are going on in there. That we all need a friend, but continue. I didn't mean to cut you off. It's, it's, it's like this, right? I, I used to be like, uh, I used to be the type of girl who would be in events. Like you, you can guess, right? Like I'm a, I'm an not clubbing, but like I'm an events kind of girl. I, okay. I, I get events. I get invited to events. Okay. Well, like like county fairs. What's an event? That's not a, like. <laughs> So it's, it's blockchain events, geeky events, IT events, tech events, you know? Oh, like, I got conferences, seminars and stuff. Conferences, yes. Okay, okay so yeah. seminars sound so geeky, man. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry, you say events. I'm like, <laughs> what? Is like Travis Scott going to perform events? Is, okay. is there fireworks? <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, okay. So conferences and seminars, hotty, hotty. I <laughs> go there every week and like meet new people, right? Yeah. And that's that's sort of like you know making making friends is like making friends is like super fun for me. And then pandemic happened, no new friends. Uh, but like I try to make friends in groups, in Telegram groups instead. And uh, that's uh, a lot of people weren't able to do it and get stressed out because they're at home. They couldn't meet new friends. But the thing is, like I I, I believe that meeting people is important. So mm -hmm. um, like because we were trained. <clears throat> to be entrenched at home for months, uh, we basically switched over to meeting people within like text, text uh, chat rooms. Uh, and some of us, well, including myself, um, just continued what we used to do. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, also added on to that our metaverses. Uh, I used to do Second Life. Uh, I, I'm an 11 year metaverser. I've been on Second Life wow. since 2010. <laughs> So uh, it's been a while. It's been a while. Uh, but like, I, I left Second Life in 2017. Sorry, this is yeah. So I'm, I'm going to turn off Telegram. Sorry, I'm going <laughs> to turn off the Telegram metaphors. <laughs> I mean, if you're, if you're plugged in, you're plugged in. Ain't no wrong with that. Uh, know, you're, you're also a client. Uh, look, I have a question. What's the what's been the best? I would say social interaction you had in a metaverse, whether it be a date or an event or a friend date. Oh. Like, what was the best way, or best day to describe this for someone who's really no concerts. Oh, dude, concerts. Yes. So I, I, um, on Crypto Voxels and in Second Life, I've been in concerts uh, constantly. And, yeah. you know, uh, uh, well, also like, well, um, clubbing, I guess. I don't know. Okay. It's clubbing. It's clubbing. It's clubbing. Yeah. You're just, you're, you're just, you know, typing and then you're like, it's not clubbing for me because I always get VIP status. Is that what you're trying to say? Oh. Like, <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. <laughs> I think it's clubbing, yeah. <laughs> it is clubbing. It is clubbing. So it, it's uh, I've I've never I I I haven't done it in like you know I I'm I'm 37 now. So last time I did any clubbing was 10 years ago, over 10 years ago. Yeah. So it's like you know this is this is kind of cool. This is a world, and I'm just clubbing in it. And what does um, that look like? Do you do the same thing? You get ready? Do you put on different thing wearables and and, and hang out there? Like how do you? Okay. Uh, okay. Different wearables, dances, and then like, uh, and a lot of chatting and uh, um, like posting emoticons together. Like, you know, a fire, fire, fire. Okay. Yeah. Everyone, when, when I say fire, you say ice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, yeah. And, and listening to music, of course, like the DJ thing. Um, in, in some cases, like there are like, um, so, but these are concerts, though, like, like uh, musicians, live musicians. Uh, mm -hmm. Other times there's DJs, like uh, there's a DJ in world 
uh, that's streaming in through Twitch. And there's like a big screen that shows the actual DJ, not his avatar, but his avatar is just hanging around there. Right. Like, walking around. So it's 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 kind of cool having having that kind of a <clears throat> you know um, social interaction in a way that's like. I don't know, COVID safe and yeah. Netflix safe and, uh, and, ha- and meeting people. I've, I've met a lot of people like within, within the last, within the last 12 months, I've met more people than I've met like in the last year when, when, you know, the pandemic was started last year, right? 2020, early 2000, yeah. right? In 2020, I hardly, I, I hardly met new people except for the people that I work with or the people in the groups. And, uh, that's not a lot <laughs> in, in 2021, I started doing metaverse stuff. Like again, uh, going back to crypt- uh, the metaverse via crypto voxels, not Second Life this time. And uh, oh, dude, a lot of parties and yeah, a lot, <laughs> a of, lot of gallery showings, a lot of like haughty gallery showings with poetry reading. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's it's like um, I'm immersed in the world again, um, and that's. That already happened in Second Life, actually. It's just um, no pandemic back then. So, you know, people were just, you know, there for like sometimes just minutes at a time. Um, so Second Life was uh, was was more empty is what I'm saying. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, not a lot of parties. If you have a party, there's only like a few jazz clubs. I, I used to be I used to be a member of a jazz club. I forgot. I forgot the name now. It's one of the biggest jazz clubs in Second Life. Wait, do you and, play an instrument, or it doesn't matter? I don't know, the jazz club, as in, you know, I'm I'm just one of the members. As in, uh, I we pay dues like uh, to get like um, live music coming in. Oh, nice. like like, like the real jazz club, but yeah. on Second Life in Second Life. So um, like playing, and, playing a cover to like a, a bar or something. A cover to a bar. Uh, yeah, and sometimes it's just like regular music. So uh, it's it was fun. It was a lot of fun. Um, and this was, God, this was uh. The, the 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 club I think closed in 2017, mm-hmm. and uh, we we were all there for the closing, so the parcel basically got uh, got relinquished back to Linden Labs, who owns Second Life, um, and we were all there, and we were like, yeah, this is the end of an era. No one would know about this. This is just us, and like, there's there's not like not a lot of people in the end. It's like what 20, 30 people, but at its height, I remember there were. Every time there's events, there's like hundreds of people, like uh, or even like two hundred people usually, because there's a limit to like how many people can be in a parcel and mm-hmm. for a second life, and it's two hundred, I think. And a parcel so is like we, a pot of land. We always, we always hit the limit, so it's always two hundred. Gotcha. So, uh, just to uh, clarify, a parcel is like a pot of plot of land. It's a plot of land. It's a plot. Yeah. Well, uh, it's it's a it's a plot of land that has its own server infrastructure, sort of. So, so there's a load. Um, um, like there's a maximum load. Yeah. Um, I I created a museum in Second Life, which is the uh, Pico Vista Ooh. Museum of Computing. I don't know why. I I I I came up with the name like 11 years ago. Remember? So I don't I don't remember why I chose that name. You just thought it sounded like you know Pico, as in like. I don't know. I don't know. It's it sounds uh, basically at home with other museums. So it's, it's yeah. totally by Yeah. It's still it's still there. It's still Googleable. You can actually still see it. Um I, I put in a lot of stuff. I put in uh mainframes, I put in like IBM stuff. I used to I I used to work at IBM and I was working at IBM. So yeah. I uh I recreated all the servers in world. Um, and uh, you know, just just people just came. There's a donation box. You can donate stuff. You can donate money. Yeah. And, uh, yeah uh, okay. But anyway, uh, the the uh, I guess your question was actually simpler than this. I, I got, no, I I'm, I'm on board. This. You know what it is? This is gonna be weird. So you've been on the show a handful of times, and and we talked about almost everything. Well, not almost everything, but enough things in different ways of looking at whether it's blockchain stuff or metaverse stuff, but I've never seen you so passionate, like on a personal level than talking about how you have this like whole life on the metaverse. I remember you took me around crypto voxels and I, I guys, if you if you're doing crypto voxels, don't be as lame as I was. Cause I had no idea what I was doing, but, but, but to, to walk around with you and, and introduce me to like other people and show me different plots of land or parcels. It felt like I was in this new town and my cousin was showing me around. So yeah, by all means, you're not being a goober at all. Right. Yeah. This is this is sort of my passion. I mean, it's an even older passion than blockchain. As in, mm-hmm. you know, I mean, 
11 years ago. <laughs> um, so, uh, and I am making my own, like this is something that you know, but I, I guess the audience doesn't know. I'm, I'm making my own metaphors. And this podcast isn't an ad for it. It's it's something that we're we're just making. It's a it's a it's more of a two D metaverse. So we're trying to make it like super. What's it called? Uh, it's called two D verse. Two D verse. Uh, and uh, it's two D verse. Uh, two. Okay, so it's two D V E R dot S E. That's okay. the URL. And, okay. Uh, it just won a hackathon. Uh, and it. Well, yeah, I just won a hackathon. Was it? Oops, sorry. Was it uh, a couple of days ago, actually? Wow. Um, two days ago, and this is what it looks like. I'm just gonna share it. But... Uh, she's now sharing a screen of the new uh, 2D verse metaverse here, yeah. bro. Yeah, this is not an ad for. Oh, it's not a well. If, well, the thing is, this shows about creator project things that give you that fire, oh. so it's all good. So this is this is sort of the uh, the the metaverse um and it's actually super big um so if you click here you can see that it's a whole island so it's and, a huge uh, like 2d space and anyone can live in any part in there yeah uh, yeah anyone can live in any part you can you can buy land and uh you can buy plots of land um let me let me go back to like the middle of it oops let me zoom out a bit it feels so, like a game boy color or a game boy advance yeah, or a game yeah, it's really cool so, Retro, yeah. right? Like uh, I, I'm, I'm a huge fan of those games, <clears throat> and I, I really like the way it's, uh, you know, uh, the way those games are done. Um, um, and there's like, you know, you can edit the links, you can uh, add stuff to it, you can add walls, then you can import NFTs. Now, if you import NFTs, the NFTs can be put in world. <clears throat> People can buy NFTs through this. I'm sorry, but so. Um, you can, you know, uh, I'm not going to turn on voice chat because it's going to cause a lot of um, issues with StreamYard. Sure. Um, it causes issues in Zoom. Um, but like there's there's voice chat. There's also, uh, you know, uh, regular text chat. And uh, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> so you typed uh, in hello. Your avatar actually waves with you. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, oh, that's hello good. there. Yeah. Uh, this is a uh, this is sort of uh, the, the thing that we're trying to create. Uh, there's I, I wanted to show you like the what are the NFTs, but like I forgot where I put my house. <laughs> I forgot where I put my house. I Man, like you balling like that? You don't know where your house is? That's cool. Uh, and I love the isometric look. It's very Pokemon. Like it's it's, it's yeah. pretty, pretty chill. Yeah, we we don't want it to be too 3D. We don't want it to be 3D in fact because we want this to run on mobile devices. You can see there's a joystick here, so oh, yeah. uh, mobile devices would run this. Uh, like, but we've tried this with a lot of mobile devices. It runs really well. And uh, this is one of the NFTs. And then you can click it. Then you can buy it. Oh, this one's not for sale. But like, yeah, you can buy it theoretically. Yeah, uh, and it it runs already uh, on on phones. Uh, this is something that we're trying to do. Um, yeah, I I I love metaverses so much. I made my own. <laughs> I mean, is there a thing that you have a goal with if you're building a, a living, breathing community? I mean, what is it like a number of signups? Is it like a, a kind of vibe you're going for? Yeah, I, I, I'd like to have a metaverse that is full of like activity. Uh, mm -hmm. And it's not, this is uh, speaking back to like, uh, of course, and metaverse are on the way up because of, first of all, because of Facebook, because of Zuckerberg saying his company is <laughs> there's one. But also it's up because of NFTs. Uh, there's a lot of NFT metaverses out there um, selling land. Um, the thing is, the NFT community, I love the NFT community and I love the crypto community, but uh, sometimes they are uh, more thinking of like how to flip land or like mm -hmm. how, how to, to get quick gains, which is which is fine. Like you, everyone needs to make a profit. This is a capitalist society anyway. Yeah. Um, but uh, it's like uh, a good metaverse is a metaverse which is full of activity of people of, of buildings of uh um, and 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 particularly of like uh, you know the stuff we mentioned of events of seminars and conferences <laughs> and, uh, and and like a, a dj showing uh, um, yeah. uh, uh, festivals uh we 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 need those things uh the, the thing about the thing about metaverses is that 
the B metaverse, like sometimes, like sometimes people would call me out for saying metaverses because you know it's right. supposed to be one single metaverse. Like cyberspace is not cyberspaces, right? But, right, right. Yeah, but I like calling it metaverses because there's definitely multiple. Anyway, um, like uh, the the thing about metaverses is that it's meant to be a social device. It's not a game. It's not mm-hmm. meant to be a game. You can merge it with a game, like sandbox dot game does, but the thing about the metaverse part is the social part, how we meet people, how we uh, 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 transcend reality by right. making it a reality. This I, I reject your reality and I substitute <laughs> mine. Absolutely. <laughs> and, yeah, so, and, hmm. so so you you think about uh, the idea of of having metaverses for social interaction versus having metaverses to make profit. It does seem very much like like city planning right there are some cities that are made to get people to move in or suburbs make people move in and there are some that plan it like no this is going to be our post office our yeah. school is going to be over there and, and it seems kind of like structured that way so i don't know is there is there any hope to, that, that there's going to be a merging there of people realizing hey look nfts are great but i want to i'll have more here or is it going to be two different classes of of place I in the metaverse think- i'm thinking that, that that the metaverse the ultimate metaverse and this is something that we're trying to build here it would be uh, a metaverse that is not only on like one blockchain or one one uh, one uh, you know one piece of one small piece of the crypto ecosystem, but like it would be multi-chain. It would be uh, you you connect your wallet here that connects you to Ethereum, and then you walk around, and then like there's another place with the wallet that connects you to the Polygon wallet, and then you walk around, and it's the near wallet. And then you walk around and then it's the octopus wallet. It's right. it's like we walk around and like connecting to things. Um, instead of actually having it just be a small community, I think it should go back the way it's meant to be. A metaverse with a capital M where uh, multiple communities could merge. Uh, I think that would lead to better understanding between communities. And uh, I think... Because of the strength of our devices now, like the 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 the, the powerfulness of our laptops and phones, um, it it would be sort of something called a side uh, side by side metaverse. Uh, mm-hmm. So, um, you know, when you're in crypto voxels, you need to drop everything and just be in crypto voxels, right? Like you've, right. you've you've you use crypto voxels. I love crypto voxels, by the way. By the way, yeah. this is my crypto voxels. If you guys want to see, I'm just going to show. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so, but the thing about crypto voxels, even though it's super cool, it's immersive in a way that doesn't let you do anything else. Like you're, oh, right. uh, you're in this metaverse, you're walking around, but you can't, you know, have word open and be typing at the same time or like that's, that's sort of, um, you know, uh, oh, and a lot of people don't like uh, some people I know just just leave that open at a, as a tab and then just go to another tab and work there, yeah. and then, like back to the tab whenever they like. Um, but you know, I, I I'd like to create the way I'd like to create uh, our two D city is that this is something that's super casual that you can leave in a window open in the you know the the back of your phone like the you know not the back of your phone the 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 uh, background application of your phone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> When you spin it up, it's just there, and you can just say hello to people coming into your gallery, the gallery that you made. Um, that's uh, okay. So, am I still sharing? Oh, yep. Yeah, you're <laughs> I, still sharing. I didn't, I didn't reshare. So, sorry. So, I, I was uh, I was going to reshare so I can show 2D City again. Yeah. So, galleries, you, you can keep this open at all times. Sure, sure, sure. In the background of your phone or I, and, and since it's super light as well, uh, you can meet people here, you can invite people here. So you have like physical um, location, yeah. even when you're in the, you know, in, in, in devices, like this is your physical location in digital, so to speak. But there's also people that say that we're doing this too much. There's people that say, hey, look, man, we don't need metaverses. We need parks. We need to walk outside. We need to say, hey, you want to be my friend? <laughs> like, I mean, is it is it either or or can you have both? No, well, it's not either or. It's, it, it needs to be both, uh, which is another uh, part of this. Um, we, uh, we want to have sort of like bridges between physical and digital. And this is not 
<clears throat> this is not something that is very high tech. It could be just a QR code or a link. Like you go to a real gallery in the real world in uh, in your city and you just walk around and, oh, this, is, this gallery has a QR code that you scan. And on your phone, lo and behold, the metaverse shows up. A metaverse representation of the same gallery, maybe with more detail, maybe with a lot more people, for example. Uh, maybe, usually, probably with different people as well. Or uh, maybe a park with a QR code as well. And uh, you have, like, this would be another metaverse, uh, um, augmented reality. And you can see not just the stuff in the park, but, like, the virtual stuff that is put in the park. Um, yeah. It's it's super possible. The the thing is, we're we're just at the beginnings of this flow. Yeah. In years, there's gonna be like a digital overlay over everything, and um, that digital overlay, it might not be like the Google Glass uh, thing that, <laughs> that that yeah. But or Facebook's kind of, Ray Bans or whatever they're doing now. Or whatever they're calling it, but uh, <laughs> it, it it might be just like if you're in a certain location, there's just like a link to a virtual location. And those complement each other. Um, but yeah, but since, you know, if you want to stay home, you can still be outside uh, in the metaverse. If you want to be outside and like visit places, that can be a joint experience, sort of a merged experience, yeah. cross reality experience. Um, reality side chains is. Well, how, how different is, is decentricity versus bonding? Like, is it the same? Are you oh. different like in the metaverse? Oh, do you dance well, more in digital spaces? <laughs> I dance more in digital spaces. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm more out there, more open, and more. No, I, I guess Pandu Saswadio is an IT consultant, blockchain consultant. Mm -hmm. She's been in the bills for for over a decade. Go on, girl. Doing stuff. Um, sold core banking systems in the beginnings of her career. Decentricity and then is a is a degen, <laughs> it's, a, mm. it's a total crypto degenerate. Yeah, and, uh, loves NFTs, <clears throat> has land in crypto voxels. Have, and and it's like there's a lot of there will be a lot of differences. Like mm. uh, if if it, this is a generic question, not just asking about me, but everyone will have a lot of differences between like their in world avatars sure. and who they are. And it's not just, you know, the physical part, not just the visual part. It's also the personality part. I feel that I'm quite different. Um, the the way I carry myself within crypto voxels is totally different. Mm -hmm. People recognize my personality, though. Like, they know that it's me. It's just like, yeah, this is this is likely, like, I, I, do, I have more fun. I have more fun in crypto yeah. voxels. That's, what do people say about you? Like, if people were to describe you in in there versus uh, IRL or in real life, what, what would be the how would be the the actual emotion tags? Not what you do, but like personality. Yeah, I'm uh, personality wise. I'm mm -hmm. I I don't do parties. Uh, I really? Don't, I I don't really. I, I like even before the pandemic, I stopped going to parties. I I've been I've been so uh, serious in my demeanor and like you know so. I, I make TV appearances and <laughs> I saw it. Congratulations on CNBC. I mean, that was great. Yeah, yeah, a couple of days ago. But that's not the first one. I've, I've been on TV like for five. All right, you're gonna brag about it. I'm kidding. Yeah, yeah. it's still it's still cool seeing <laughs> seeing all this content. No, no, I was kidding. It was still cool to see it. Yeah, I was like, wow, I know somebody who's famous. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, I, I uh, I'm very professional i'm very businesslike when i'm when i'm like you know and use that audio but like as the centricity i feel like i i can i can have more fun i i yeah. uh yeah people people think of me as a fun person um i yeah i don't know if i am <laughs> i don't know which personality is real <laughs> yeah well i'm trying to i'm trying to understand like if, if you are down to party hard digitally and but not in real life is it is it the the stranger element is it like you feel like you're able to be yourself and not be judged in there like both yeah okay. but, well, you know uh, um, Guys are creeps, when, I know. When I'm in of Vossels, I don't think I'm in, I don't feel like I'm in a room full of strangers. I'm uh, I'm in a room that's like, you know, like there's there's a lot of other avatars here, but we're all avatars and we're all here, so let's talk. Um and uh you know, I also yeah, you know, the not one thing to be judged thing is actually a big part of it. I mean yeah. <laughs> that's 
that's sort of a you don't get judged for your avatar like uh, well you can actually get judged for your avatar like if you, if you wear dicks on your forehead that's the <laughs> 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 wait that's available <laughs> we should let with that <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it's not available on crypto boxes. It is available in Second Life. Okay. Second Life still has dicks on foreheads. Hey, <laughs> bonus. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I, well, I mean, for me, I mean, I'm not sure if I, I'm totally immersed into that, those kind of metaverses or metaverse. Mm -hmm. That's the metaverse. But like, I'm on Discord and different things, right? And so, I, I play uh, a game called Rocket League. It's a, it's a video game uh, where Car's playing soccer. I'm a big fan of it. Um, and, but I've been doing so and having a handle for that only. Uh, I have like a different personality trait. When I go into the Discord servers, we have these tournaments. I don't see anyone's faces. Mm. They hear my voice. And not just compare the two, but I do feel like there's a bit of like compartmentalization we do where we go, no, for this, I'm this. But for this, I'm that. And so I'm just curious to see how that works. Yeah. That, that's the word I use, compartmentalization. That's, that's, that's the exact word I would use. Our personalities are too big for just one platform. Like, we're human. Humans right. are huge. Like, I mean, uh, humans are, our minds are huge. We we have the capacity to to create new personalities within, like, our mental models of mind. Uh, the, the, then, you know, we create mental models automatically because, like, when you're, when you're in a work situation, you're a different person. That's necessarily true because you're at work. Um, and, and, well, most people, but, like, uh, most people can, 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 can compartmentalize and create a new personality. It's just that, you know, uh, being in other platforms, other digital platforms where your interaction is different, whether it's limited to just text or just, uh, you know, limited to Zoom calls where you get to find the best angles and yeah. uh, of, of like the camera. Right. <laughs> yeah take care of the light and just see, you know, have like all the lighting in place and the backgrounds and like, uh, or in a 3D or 2D metaverse where you're just, you know, you create your own avatar. Okay, I'm pretty. Okay, everyone's pretty here. So, you know, I'm, uh, you know, yeah. <laughs> we're all pretty people. And, yeah. uh, or, or uh, metaverse like crypto voxels where everyone starts off like white avatars. And, sure. uh, Everyone's white. <laughs> yeah, I, I started off white. I hated it. So now I am like jet black. Just to make a point. I don't, I don't, you need to you need to customize. And, <laughs> if you're just a white avatar, it's, uh, everyone's just like, okay, that guy's new, right? <laughs> new. Yeah, that's a dick so, in my forehead. And you're saying, that's... yeah, I have to change your color. You have to put on like clothes, wearables, uh, and and that is sort of different as well because like. Then they're in there, people just choose the best wearables, the weirdest wearables possible. Um, I, I've met several people who became cars, like literally just became like a big car. <laughs> just, that's kind of cool, actually. That's, that's kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, told me I could be anything. I saw I became a car. <laughs> I'm dating a car right now. She's great. <laughs> Penguin, penguin friend. There's okay. This is gonna sound so weird. This there's a penguin friend of mine. <laughs> does he talk <laughs> or does it talk? Uh, it's a she, but like yeah, she she talks. She's uh, she's in the metaverse as a penguin avatar. That's and cool. she walks around as a penguin. It's, 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 she waddles around and it's like hey. <laughs> she actually waddles. That's great. <laughs> why not, man? Why not? Yeah, why not? And and it's like you 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 explode your creativity in world. That changes your personality as well because like people who are shy who are where where you know you don't I, I believe everyone's beautiful but like if, if someone believes that oh i'm i'm, I'm ugly or yeah. i uh, or, or not not enough you know uh, physical confidence um in the metaverse you can you can be confident and that changes a lot of your personality um yeah that's I I always wonder that if someone had struggled uh, with my own body issues, uh, this is for some listening. I used to be a big kid, uh, 375 pounds at my heaviest. Uh, I always wondered what were, if there is a way that one can influence the other. Can you be so confident when you don't have anyone looking at you, you can make that transfer into your personality when you go yeah. IRL? Is that a yeah. thing? I think so. I think so. That's That's sort of, Okay, there's probably a lot of opinions on this, and I'm not a psychologist, but I, yeah. I, I have seen people who's, uh, who's, who's been like um, in in world and uh, been a particular character, and then like that translates back uh, in real life, and uh, they, they might start as being totally not confident, like uh, that that lack of confidence. Um, 
So, okay. So I'm, I'm just going to say, this is, this is a sensitive topic and I'm not sure. Gonna, yeah. like, there's, there's a lot of people that I knew back in second life who were transgendered. Okay. So they're, uh, yeah. So, so different, uh, different gender character, different gender avatar. So, uh, that's sort of, uh, that's how they, uh, manifest their, 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 uh, uh, personal, uh, well, but th that's how they manifest it basically. But, uh, some of them actually went, uh, for real, um, you know, uh, in real life and not just within second life and second life, uh, was where they got sort of the, the courage. Um, oh, I see. I see. That yeah, makes sense. Yeah. So it's, it's sort of like, it's not, you know, uh, it's also, um, it's a learning experience, you know, uh, if you, you're more comfortable in it, in, in that, uh, and, and, you know, like, you know, like if you're, if you think that, uh, you're you, you feel that you're you and you're in a world that recognizes you as you, you want to be that in the real world too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you for, for bringing that up. Like sometimes, and I, I'll, I'll be first to admit this, I'm just your garden variety heterosexual cisgendered male. And, uh, you kind of forget about other walks of life that may be judged just for existing in real space, in real space. So yeah, yeah I, I get that. Having that opportunity to say, will I be accepted as who I see myself in this space first? Yeah. And well, that will be, they do one that you will world. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, pretty yeah. cool. It's, yeah. it's pretty cool. There's, there's also like a, there's also a lot of uh, um, there's a lot of furries in Second Life. A lot of people who are yeah. You know, well, they're everywhere, they're, man. The furries. It's their preference. It's like I'm not gonna make fun of them, but like it's uh, uh they can be furries in Second Life, and that's fine. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> in fact, that was that that actually caused the first probable incident of racism in Second Life because like there's like places that wouldn't allow furries to come in so right right yeah i live in los angeles there's like furry groups around town so I, i've seen uh, people meet i drove yeah. by meetings and stuff yeah it, it's super funny because well not funny it's, 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 it's a bit ironic because second life was supposed to be for everyone but like there are places that didn't allow uh furries uh, furries not wanted there's, there's even signs yeah. this is this is like deep culture man this like few and it is, this is a few years ago it's not no longer valid probably but um and uh, yeah, and and uh, Second Life actually, I think, placed a ban on child avatars because okay. you don't uh, exactly know if it's really a child or not. And like, and of course, Second Life is eighteen plus, so sure. there's a lot of not safe for workplaces. Uh, so children avatars though still exist in world, like uh, because it's super hard to police that, and uh, some of them are role play. Mm -hmm. Role playing as kids. This is getting into like sort of the part of Second Life that I don't visit much, uh, by the way. But like I, I, I've, I've been on Second Life for like that many years that I know about these places. Second Life is famous for weird sex, right? Okay, and weird is an air quotes, by the way. Weird, I, I, this is air quotes. Yeah. This is yeah. what I was saying. I'm trying to, it should be here. This should be right. like this one. <laughs> Who goes? Okay. Uh, so uh, yeah, it's 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 not really like if you if you recognize sort of the sexual subcultures of the world, like you know people do BDSM, people do. But second life is tame in comparison. It's just that uh, you it's in your face, right? Because you can just walk into one of these NSFW places and just uh, meet people. Or, but there's also G-rated places in Second Life, and there's right. uh, most places are G-rated, I think. Uh, at least back then. Uh, now, uh, then you know, the not safe for workplaces. You can find a lot of stuff. Uh, you can buy a sex doll for your avatar um, hmm. in Second Life. Uh, you can buy vibrators. And the thing about Second Life is that, like, if when you own an item, it confers your own avatar movement capabilities based on that item. So the okay. vibrator works. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, anyway, so that's that's sort of like that's neither here nor there, but like that's that's sort of a the part of the relationship, uh, sex, uh, mm -hmm. part of having relationships, sex. That's 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 uh, uh that's something real in the world. Like, uh, you 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 have sex with the person in second life it feels like you're having sex in real life almost almost sure before. sure there's there's no vr yet there's no vr set that does that yet but like your imagination takes you into this avatar this is you 
you're seeing through that avatar's eyes, maybe you were an Oculus Rift to make you feel exactly like you're in that avatar. But then um, when you actually have sex, it's the same thing. It feels like the same thing, even though it's not, even though it's not, it just feels like the same thing. And this is also true for other things. It's also true for, oh God, remember IRC, MIRC? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. People do cyber, cyber. Yeah, I, I'm terrible at it, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have this worse at it, but yeah, I remember that because there is a the the mental element of it all that if, if yeah, if you're in long distance relationships or right. And 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 when you do Zoom sex too, I mean the, have you heard of chat roulette? Chat roulette. Uh yes. I, I'm I'm kind of embarrassed to know about this, but yes. <laughs> Well, yeah, like, you click, click, know about this. I know about this. I, second I, reference I, is CSI New York. Because uh, <laughs> you click a button and someone shows up and you're like, hey, uh, what's going on? And it could be sexy. It could be not sexy. It could be people at random. Yeah. Oh, uh, they have a counterpart now called Dirty Roulette. Oh, okay. Ooh. Like like Chatterbait, yeah. Just the sexy part. <laughs> just the sexy part. <laughs> Cut the chase, Grandma. I'm going right to the sexy. Yeah, I don't want this. I just want the thing. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, no, I I totally get it. I, you know, it's funny because pandemic aside, uh, and and I, again, I was a guy that was a nerd for a long time because I was a wrestling fan back when wrestling wasn't cool. But now I'm old that I say I don't care. Um, it it takes a lot to to str- to have the struggle to be like, look, I know I'm not desired. I know I'm not wanted. I know that no one finds me looking attractive in that way. I'm going to go elsewhere. And and we laugh at things like furries or second life, but it's kind of like there's, there was, there was porn magazines when I was a kid, there's digital porn. Now there's like, like uh, party lines and people did before I was a kid. So like, this is the next evolution of that. So I, I, I get it. I understand. I may not do it myself uh, because I am terrible when it comes to that sort of thing. I have no creativity, uh, but I will knock at anyone who does. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, don't don't knock it. But, but, and this here's the thing, though. Like within a few years, this is gonna be how we do things. This is gonna be how we meet people. Um, and I'm not just talking about like the pandemic, but like post pandemic, like far after, like five six years. Um, we're we're gonna have metaverses as uh, the way to meet our coworkers and work together, and metaverses where we go clubbing together and meet new friends and that's not going to be like frowned upon that's going to be like okay where do you me- where do you meet him oh crypto voxels or like pandus metaverse the 2d first thing or whatever and you now uh we dance together and it's just the, the human mind is capable of doing that there's yeah. there's there's a the okay so the only reason we're able to do this is because our social immersion is not just physical right. like we're not animals uh animals socialize by smelling and touching the king oh, that's how cats do <laughs> i have a cat sleeping right there i'm just, i don't think she yeah well she's a <laughs> stop licking things over there cat no. <laughs> so uh but like yeah human beings we're, we're we're mental creatures right this 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 huge brain developed um, one of the theories of how the brain developed uh, is because one gender was trying to, you know, put one over the other gender, and then like it becomes an arms race, and then we, the the brain, got huge, sort of a. That's one of the theories. There's a lot of theories. I'm not a well, I'm sort of a biologist, but like nah, like I, nah, I'm not going to go there. How do you say you're sort of a biologist? <laughs> I'm sort of a genius, but <laughs> no, 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 I mean. Like, I, I'm a, I used to be a microbiologist. Remember that? Like, so I, yes, yeah, so you are a biologist then. That's what I'm saying. And I have, yeah, anyway. So it's, 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 <laughs> I have certifications. It's just, this you're is just proving I'm that you are. What are you doing? I'm not really well. I'm just a guy certified. I'm just awesome. I'm just... <laughs> What you you make me sound so bad. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, if you are a biologist, you're a biologist. <laughs> okay. Own it. I'm I'm an environmental engineer. Okay. Who focuses on biology. Nice. I like okay. it. <laughs> oh, uh, so 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 um yeah. So I mean the, the, the human mind was created for this, for human relationships. Uh we 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 fool each other, we 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 got huge up here because of other people. Mm-hmm. So uh, that's that's sort of like uh, you know making uh, 
reality into something else, like redefining reality to like Zoom calls and redefining reality to chats and to metaverses. It's super easy, and especially in a metaverse, because there's a physical fake reality in there uh, that sort of fools your brain. Because uh, we, we have a conception of self. We have a, a, a mental model of who we are. Um, and uh, when you play inside a metaverse enough, that mental model extends to the avatar. Mm. Uh, then that avatar becomes you. Sort of like you're driving a car. Your car is an avatar. Like you're, you're, it's the extension of your body. Yeah. The avatar is an extension of your body and the extension of your mind, the extension of your personality. And that's 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 sort of how things are gonna happen. That's how the things are gonna be pushed towards. Then that's, that's gonna be super common. Um, it's again like driving a car uh, is common these days. Uh, having an avatar in the metaverse would be common, and we are already seeing it with our, you know, little brothers and sisters. Like they're they're already like doing Fortnite, Fortnite yeah. events. Um, Ugh, well, Fortnite. Right? <laughs> I mean, that, that's a mini metaverse. Like there's there's still like you know that, that's not fully a social metaverse. But like if you if you've been to like one of the crypto box, no, uh, uh, Oculus Rift has a lot of uh, like. Uh, uh, game rooms, I think. Mm -hmm. I, game rooms where, where avatars come in and just walk and talk to, with each other. That, those are metaverses as well, or just smaller metaverses. Now, uh, the thing about what we mentioned this early in the discussion, there needs to be like one metaverse that basically is agnostic that can connect to any other, uh, you know, chains, any other either blockchain or even off chain stuff. And interact like highlight people within uh, that world together, interact with each other, and even have like different experiences. Like if you're if you're uh, visually impaired, okay, you want to be inside a metaverse. On Second Life, you can actually download uh, a a viewer, a Second Life viewer, that is voice only. Mm -hmm. That tells you where you are. That. Uh, you can have a button like if uh, if I'm blind and you're there and you're like another avatar in Second Life, I can just click you and say that follow this guy. So I'm just yeah. following you. And 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 the the, the thing that describes where you are. <clears throat> oh, you're next to this. Oh, you're next to this item. Which item to click? Yeah. That 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 exists since 2015, man. Like not a lot of people know this. And that that's that's sort of like um, for some people the metaverse can be not visual can be like totally audio. Some For some people, it could be purely visual without the audio part. But like, it's the same metaverse that's experienced together. And that actually widens the scope of reality because for like the blind people, the visually impaired people, this is their experience of reality that is more real than going outside. Because you, you going outside, you're, you don't get descriptions, man. You don't get right, descriptions. You don't, you don't. <laughs> so yeah. you don't you, right? so that's, yeah. that's, 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 that's the crazy part. The current NFT metaverses and crypto metaverses, crypto voxels, all that, they're they're babies. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Second life is Second Life has a lot of things going for it. And that's because it's been here for 18 years. Um and uh yeah, you know, again, a tangent, but uh key here, one metaverse can be multiple experience, can be for the blind, can be 2D, can be 3D connected to everything, and uh, it would be the replacement for the internet itself. I, I love the vision. You have my vote for Metaverse Emperor, President. Hey. I, don't, I don't know what... You can, <laughs> you, can, you can be the mayor of one of them. <laughs> yes, I'll be a mayor. I'm always a mayor. <laughs> and I prefer Imperator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She thought about this, y'all. She thought about this. Uh, well, yo, so these interesting. Thank you so much for being on the show. I need to know if I want to follow you, find out the development of of your own metaverse. How would I go about doing that? I uh, yeah, just follow me on Decentricity on Twitter. I'm also on Instagram. Uh, I on the gram. I uh, <laughs> hey hey, <laughs> you can find me on LinkedIn. As I think Pandu Sasarde is, is the persona that is on LinkedIn. Um, and uh, if you want to learn more about two D verse, that's 2dver.se. That's all. And that's the URL. Uh, we'll post updates there and we will soon be releasing a public beta uh, for you to try out. Ooh, I'm trying it out. Look, you're on the main page there 2dver.se. And look at you waving at me. <laughs> are you wearing jeans or yoga pants? I have no idea what those are. But it's fashion. <laughs> <laughs> they do look like yoga pants. Uh, yeah. 
the original name was 2D City, so 2 I think the link 2D.city still works, but yeah, you just go to 2D VR.SD. Um, yeah, that's that's sort of uh, what I have tonight.